One thing a lot of Windows 7 users might not know is that there's a known issue with Windows 7 that causes CPU spikes, which can lead to audio dropouts. There's a hotfix update for this that you can download for free by going to the link shown on the screen. One of the new Windows 7 features is the Aero Graphical User Interface. This is the default display in Windows 7 and it's great unless you're using audio programs. Aero can cause audio dropouts and should be disabled. You can do this by right clicking on the desktop and choosing Personalize, then scroll down and select a color scheme from the basic and high contrast theme section like Windows Classic. The next thing we're going to do is uninstall any programs that you don't need on your computer. Your computer might come with some programs that you don't need so we'll uninstall them by clicking on the Start menu, choosing Control Panel, Programs and Features, then we'll remove anything you don't need. You might also have some graphic card tools like ATI PowerPlay and NVIDIA PowerMizer that prioritize the graphic card performance over the other processes in the system. Try to disable or uninstall these as well. The next thing I'm going to talk about is processor scheduling. Processor scheduling prioritizes background services versus programs. You might think that background services don't need to be prioritized, but the driver for your sound card is actually a background service. You'll want your computer to give more priority to your sound card drivers so you don't get audio dropouts. To do this, right click on the computer icon on your desktop, then select Properties Advanced System Settings. On the Advanced tab under Performance, click the Settings button. Also on the Advanced tab under Performance Options, select Background Services. If your audio performance worsens after following those steps, change the settings back to Programs. The last thing we're going to do is configure the buffer size or the latency of the program we're using to DJ or produce with. Latency is the delay that happens between when you perform an action like pushing a button or scratching a timecode vinyl record and when you hear a result. As an example, latency is the time it takes for an effect to turn on after I push a button on my Tractor Control X1. Depending on how powerful your computer is, you can have close to no latency like 2 to 5 milliseconds, which the human can't even perceive, versus 50 to 80 milliseconds, which you'll notice a slightly significant delay and may be distracting. It's generally true that the lower the latency is set to, the more the computer is strained and has to work. So you'll need to find a good buffer size that works for your computer. In Tractor, there's a latency bar in Preferences Audio Setup, where you can raise or lower the buffer size. I would try it at 512 milliseconds, then try at other multiples of 128, such as 256 and 128, and so on. When your computer has reached the correct latency setting, your CPU meter will be lower and the audio will not have any dropouts. After following all these steps, your PC running Windows 7 should be running like a champion, and you'll be ready for DJ Warfare. This is DJ Endo. I hope you enjoyed these videos. For more videos, check out the DubSpot YouTube. For more on me, check out www.djendo.com. Peace. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.